Tesla is reportedly examining StoreDot's extremely fast charging battery technology, which could result in a business partnership in the future. So let's examine this report and StoreDot's fast charging battery technology and what this would mean if implemented into a Tesla vehicle in the future. I'm John and this is CleanerWatt. According to this usatoday.com article, quote, Tesla, the renowned electric vehicle manufacturer, is currently examining the groundbreaking extreme fast charging battery technology developed by Israeli startup StoreDot. The author of this article does also make it very clear that just because Tesla is examining their battery technology doesn't mean that a partnership will actually happen in the future. Now, anytime a report like this comes out, it's important to kind of step back and look at the validity of that report. And the author of this article doesn't mention the source of this information, nor are very many details shared in this article. Um, but when you think about it, StoreDot is not a publicly traded company. Um, so it doesn't appear like uh, the author is trying to pump the stock or something like that. In addition, I assume Tesla regularly um, examines new battery technologies for potential partnerships. And a report like this is believable enough for me to examine StoreDot's battery technology and its potential benefits, whether or not this report is accurate or not. When it comes to a little bit of information about StoreDot and their battery technology, according to a presentation that was sourced from StoreDot's website, it uh, looks like 2024 really will be the year, at least what they plan right now, for commercialization of their battery technology. It looks like they plan to have their 100 in 5 battery ready for production in 2024. And what they mean by this 100 in 1 um, battery technology is that these batteries should be able to add 100 miles of range in an EV in a 5 minute charge. Now they do note here that um, it has silicon in the anode and that the energy density is greater than 300 watt hours per kilogram or greater than 700 watt hours per liter. You can see there they also have various goals for improving this battery technology even further, um, even down to adding 100 miles in two minutes in 2032. Now, as I researched StoreDot's battery technology, one of the things that really impressed me was according to one of their reports, it looks like their battery technology has a very flat charging curve. You can see just how flat once again that charging curve is. It maintains a very high power rating all the way until it reaches a bit past 80, then it drops off. Having such a flat charging curve really translates into a very practical uh, battery technology because once again, you could take very short breaks during a long trip and add quite a few miles during those breaks. And it really makes this battery technology exciting to me. StoreDot does have a cool tool on their website to help estimate the charging time with their battery technology based on a battery size and uh, charging power. And for instance, if you had an 80 kilowatt hour battery and you were charging at 250 kilowatts, um, according to their um, EV efficiency numbers here of 275 watt hours per mile, you should be able to add 100 miles of charge with these specifications in a seven minute charge. So with charging performance like that, um, a long range all wheel drive Model Y equipped with StoreDot's extra fast charging batteries um, when connected to a Tesla V3 supercharger could add around 100 miles of range in about seven minutes or less, or if connected to a 350 kilowatt charger, 100 miles in about five minutes or less, which would be very impressive. Now I'll talk about StoreDot's plans for manufacturing shortly, um, but what if Tesla licensed this technology from StoreDot and added it to their existing uh, 4680 batteries, for instance. Well, according to the StoreDot presentation, they have apparently been testing this battery technology in large cylindrical sizes, like a 46 millimeter diameter battery cell. In this presentation, it's written, quote, 
we have developed prototypes of 46XX cell based on our innovative chemistry, and we are exploring the cooling requirements while scaling up the technology. Now, what is it about StoreDot's battery technology that makes all this possible? Well, apparently, nano-sized silicon is their secret sauce. On StoreDot's website, it's explained that, quote, our groundbreaking nano-sized silicon is synthesized together with proprietary small molecule organic compounds, resulting in a highly potent active material that withstands silicon changes, such as the volume expansion during battery charging, issues of energy fade, preeminent rate capability limitations, and enhanced safety. Now, anytime a battery company boasts very fast charge times, it's important to dig a little deeper because you need to also find out whether or not you're able to charge those batteries very quickly and still maintain a good battery life. Because it's one thing to charge very quickly, but in order for a battery to be practical for electric vehicles, it needs to last quite a long time as well, even while fast charging. Well, it appears like StoreDot's battery technology is able to maintain a good battery life even with fast charging. Because it's written in this article on their website, quote, StoreDot Silicon Dominant XFC battery has already achieved over 1,200 continuous and consecutive extreme fast charging cycles at a charge rate more than three times higher than most current LIBs while still retaining a state of health of 80%. Even after 1,700 cycles, well beyond the accepted norm, batteries maintain 70% of the original capacity. So when you put those two things together, the ability to charge very quickly and still have good battery life, this really once again looks like a very promising and exciting battery technology, one that I would love to see in a Tesla vehicle in the future. Now, when it comes to StoreDot's plans for production in the future, this StoreDot presentation makes it very clear that their manufacturing process is pretty standard and that um, they can be produced on existing production lines. When it comes to mass manufacturing, um, StoreDot has partnered with battery company EVE Energy. And according to this presentation, quote, EVE plans production of StoreDot cells starting in 2025. So really to wrap all this up, StoreDot's battery technology looks very impressive. However, it is a little bit too early to get excited and to get our hopes up. And commercialization of any new battery technology is often difficult and seems to take longer than expected in most cases. Nonetheless, I do hope that this report about Tesla examining StoreDot's battery technology is true, and I hope that we see such a technology implemented into a Tesla vehicle in the future. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support really does make a big difference and helps make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.